What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another Pain Plays Games videos. Alright guys, we're kind of doing a lot of these here while there's a big lull with SLA going on. Uh, and right now, I'm desperately, and you guys know this about me by now, desperately waiting for a brand new Bleach game. You guys see all the Bleach memorabilia everywhere. I'm a huge Bleach fan. It's my number one anime. Uh, love the characters, love the story, love everything about Bleach. Um, this came out a couple days ago. I've actually been playing it, so it's actually been two days now that it's been out. And I decided I want to share this with you guys. Okay, so if you are uh, if you're a fan of puzzle games, this is actually a pretty fun puzzle game. So welcome to Bleach Soul Puzzle, uh, and I want to go through this with you guys and kind of share my thoughts and feelings about this game and where it stands in regards to other puzzle games. So we're gonna do this on Blue Stacks. You guys can see here I'm currently playing it right now on Blue Stacks. So make sure you guys check it out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with the puzzles, and we're gonna play this game together. And I'm gonna show you guys how this whole thing works okay so let me just uh, actually while this is happening let me just quickly go ahead and show you guys how this is okay so you guys can see how to play it's a typical three plus you know uh puzzle game connect three things with the same colors same designs breaks move on get points etc now the way this works in terms of the actual um clearing of the stages you have certain amount of turns you can do to, with certain amount of targets so in this case we have to get 12 of these red blocks completed with 20 turns so pretty straightforward obviously move this down and then this will work right you guys can see here a couple more blocks happen there's three there three there and then three there this completes the stage okay so when you complete the stage you're going to end up getting yourself a couple different things you get yourself these little diamonds uh you'll get yourself a couple other uh gold coins etc now gold coins can be used specifically to um go start the stage where you left off if you died okay and these little diamonds here are used to actually complete the room now the room is a scene in bleach so in this case you're going to see right now we we get to get some puzzle fragments right so or room fragments i should say sorry so click the room zero one you'll see each ago and a couple other characters are available to pick up so in the beginning i think they're going to call this room have fun first you're going to get each go you get him you place him here now the way this works just so everyone is aware uh you actually don't get to use any characters in this game what you do instead is you get their skills and you can use their skills to actually do certain elements or, or effects in the actual battle okay so i'll show you guys real quick how this works as well too so for example with kurosaki ichigo or ichigo whichever one you want to call him um the way the way it's going to work out is you're going to get a zanpakuto and then when you hit it in the stage it actually does a linear uh block removal all the way across the board okay and you can get ishidas you can get uh sados you can get uh, orihimes etc 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 now i've been playing this game up to like stage 25 now so that's where i'm at and, and the one day i've been playing and so far i've had zero need to purchase anything which is actually pretty incredible and i know k labs is actually fairly decent in regards to there you go so i was talking right there uh fairly decent in regards to their free-to-play content i played uh, bleach brave souls for quite some time uh quit quite a long time ago obviously but you know the game is actually pretty good so go ahead and open up the gift box here you'll get yourself a couple different effects and some gold right there we're gonna go ahead and go at, go to puzzle two and i'll show you guys how this works so you guys can see here we have a couple different boosters you can use when the stage starts we have here's the quantity of those boosters and these can be applied to the stage now these all have to be opened up stage six so when you get to room six you'll see it now in this stage we're gonna have to clear out the uh i believe it was orange and and greens right yes yeah, so orange and green so here we go i'll show you guys how the zombie tool works okay so we're gonna when you get a four block you'll see a zombie tool opens up so this is issue that's bow obviously here's the zombie tool so if you click this for example right It'll just clear that whole area. Now, the Zanpakuto goes left to right. Ishida's does bow and arrow go up and down. Okay, so vertical, horizontal. Very straightforward how that works, right? So now the goal is to, of course, clear out the oranges and the greens. I, I love puzzle games, personally. It's, it's kind of like my guilty thing. Um, it's it's one of my, my, my pleasures to play. Like, I, I, I absolutely adore puzzle games. So when I saw a Bleach puzzle game... I'm not going to lie to you guys, I actually got super excited. So there you guys go, there's that clearing right there. So as you progress, you guys can see more of these things will open up. You guys can see some of these are captain ones. So this is Soifuns, for example. This is Byakus, this is uh, Hitsugaya's, this is, uh, I think this is Shino's? Yeah, I feel, I feel like that's correct because that's the, uh, the whole upside down world that he does, right? So there you go, another diamond, more gold. And then you guys can see here... As you progress, it gets harder and harder and harder, just so you guys are aware. I'm going to show you guys where the stamina is. There is stamina in this game, so you will have to recover it. There's the pay-to-win aspect, like I was mentioning. I haven't need a, a second of purchase, but you guys can see here, here's the stamina, right? It's called hearts. Uh, we have five out of five, so it's maxed out. And then what you do every time is, every time you use one, it'll 
it'll you'll use it for a stage and then if you lose a stage uh, you either use coins to continue going up in the same stage that you lost in so you don't have to start over or you'll use a new heart and start everything over again so that's how the stamina system works okay uh and now in regards to the weapons that you see here as you unlock these characters, like I said, more weapons will open up. Here's here's Saddles, for example, or Chads, right? You'll see here he does a Brazo uh, del Diablo. So you'll see right now, I'll show you guys how it works. Let's put a five of these together right there. So if you click this, it just knocks all of these out. I think, honestly, I think it's such a cool little effect that they've added to this game. Now, these orbs here are very, very important. Anything you touch with these orbs will actually automatically break that same one for you, okay? So that same color. So right now, we're not going to touch this one because I do want to get... Uh, I want to see if I can get myself, there we go, that's what I want. Okay, so let's see if we can get this down once, and I'll show you guys how this works. Um, let's see, no, see, what I want to do is I want to combine these two, and what it'll end up doing, actually, is putting the two of them together like this, and then it's like a double effect, okay? So look at this, right? You got both things work at the same time. Now, the way hers works, it's random uh, in regards, sorry, it's not random, it's um, whatever tile you touch with it, it'll automatically shoot that same color again, okay? So, Origin Maze is probably the weakest, but if you combine it with that massive orb that I showed you guys, it puts all of these all over the board, and it's a huge amount of, of, uh, of clearance. And that applies to almost any any of those weapons that you just saw. Okay, so there you guys go. That's how Saddles works. That's how Origin Maze works. Um, I believe for the first little while, you're going to only get the, f if I recall, I believe the four of them. In terms of their skills but as you progress through it you'll unlock uh byakus soy funds etc and and quite honestly they're they're pretty damn powerful so again it's not like you get a chance to use the bleach characters i know we're all waiting you know patiently for a good bleach game i know there's one coming out in steam soon we're obviously waiting for the mobile version of the, of the game to come out and um i'm telling you now when that comes out i'll be focusing a lot on that game as well because I'm such a big, big fan of Bleach, and it's I can't tell you guys how excited I am for a good Bleach game to finally drop, for us to actually be able to play it and enjoy uh, the Bleach universe together. Because right now, with the Thousand Year Blood War going on uh, and the return of that series coming very soon, I think it might be the last part of that series before they... they I don't know if they're going to continue on with another series after that. Um, I think they should, because I don't think the manga ends for quite some time. So... With that coming soon, I think this is the perfect time for the Bleach world to kind of take into effect, right? And quite honestly, if you're a Bleach fan, I would suggest trying this. It's at least going to give you a chance to play something Bleach related. It's actually fun. It doesn't take long. The stamina, I would say the stamina is the hardest thing in this game. It does go away fairly quickly, so you won't spend too much time playing this game. There are pay-to-win elements if you want there to be, but again, I have yet to see it. You can watch ads to get yourself some, some power-ups. I suggest doing that. That's a 30-second ad, and then you'll get yourself some easy, easy power-ups to finish stages that you might have trouble on, and absolutely do not be uh, ashamed or shy to use power-ups. I find a lot of people who play these games want to challenge themselves, and they don't use the power-ups to, to clear some stages. It's... It's not the smartest way to go because these some of these stages are built to be unbeatable without these these power ups, right? So use them to your best advantage and make sure that you get uh, through these levels without using too much stamina, and then try to progress as fast as you possibly can if you want to reap the benefits, obviously, right? So here, I'll show you guys right now. Look at this. See all the reds, all gone, right? There you guys go. And watch this now. So we'll do um, this one here. We'll do this one here. All right, this is a fairly easy stage. Okay, so there's another. We need, what do we need? We have 18 more turns. Right, so here we need seven more reds. So we'll do this red here and a couple more oranges. So here, we'll bust this up real quick. There we go. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. All done. So there you guys go. Pretty straightforward, right? Now, if you, if you see here, I think we got to stage six now. I just want to show you guys how the power-ups work, right? I am not. I don't think I'm going to use them, but at least I'll show you how they... Actually, you know what? Whatever. We'll use it. This is not even my real account. I just want to show you guys how the game works. So let's, let's look here real quick. I think this might actually end up finishing the room soon. How many more do we have left? Okay, we have only a couple more left. So here's stage puzzle six. Oh, I have to finish this first. So let's finish the stage, and then I'll show you guys how power up. Just in case you've never played a game like this, it'll give you a general sense of how they are. Now, this is another another stage here. You have to break cardboard boxes, okay? So you guys will see here, when you combine uh, things near a box, it'll blow up the box. Now, some stages, 
you're going to have to blow up multiple times for a box to even break. So keep that in mind when you are playing this. So there you guys go. Other stages, there's going to be like get a character all the way down to the bottom. They're at the top, for example. You have to break enough to get to the bottom with things obstructing it. There's stages with grenades, for example. Watch this. I'm going to combine these two together now. And you guys will see a little bit of an effect right now. Here, watch. Boom. See? Here it is. So now we get the vertical and her breaking these boxes for us, right? So say it's a it's a really fun little little game. Honestly, if you if you're looking to kill time and you're a puzzle fan, I highly recommend giving this a, giving this a go. It's it's I think it's worth it personally. We're almost done here. We've got a couple left. Here we go. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, break that up, and then we have one more left here. So let's see. Can we do? We'll do this. Go down, and that should blow it up. There you guys go. All completed in seven. All right, let's take a look at now the the uh, the power ups. That's what I want to show you guys. Okay, so and I'll actually I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll finish the room. We'll finish the room so you guys can see what the room looks like, and then you move on to another room, and it's another scene again of what's going on in Bleach or some 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 event in Bleach that you have seen in the in the anime or or whatnot. Right? So you guys go. We'll let's we'll do Renji. I, I always like Renji. So. Doesn't matter who you do, by the way. I haven't seen the skill for Renji yet, but here you guys go. So here, we'll put some boosters on, okay? So we'll go one, two, three. We'll put all three of them on. Now watch what happens, okay? When you start the stage now, those three boosters will be somewhere in that stage, and you guys can use them to clear things, right? There you guys go. Now watch what happens. We'll do this. Combine these two. See, now, gets got ten show. You guys will see here. Look at that. A lot of them bust open. See? And that's the beauty of combining them with orbs. You get yourself some powerful, powerful uh, moves. That you guys can pretty much clear a whole board in like um, like two or three turns so very much worth doing watch this we'll combine these two now we've seen this one already though so it's not a big deal but again just to show you guys how it works there you guys go look at that with power-ups was a breeze was a damn breeze so there you guys go some bleach soul puzzle um take a look check it out i'll uh, i'll put the link here for you guys it is on ios and i believe it's also on um google android so i'm playing it on blue stacks on my pc but feel free to download it on your phone give it a try i'm a big fan of it personally because i love puzzle games and it's bleach so this is kind of giving me what i need right now just to get rid of that bleach itch uh which i'm actually scratching right now while i'm saying that but it's it's enjoyable and i'm having a blast so i hope you guys enjoy it as well too let me know what you guys think in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next video take care